Hey, good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Quick question. Who controls your life? Is it you? Or do you think someone else does because you're a victim? The Apostle Paul submits two options for possible control of your life. Listen to him, Romans 6, verses 12 and 13. He says, Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body to make you obey its passions. Do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as to those who have been brought from death to life and your members to God as instruments for righteousness. The Apostle Paul says you will either be controlled by sin or you're going to be controlled by God. Now, if you follow the path of sin, you're thinking that you're in control. I'm making my choices. I'm doing it my way. This is what I want. I don't care what anybody else says. But the reality is you're going to be owned by your desires. You're going to be owned by sin's power, whether that's through addiction or whether that's through greed or pride or gluttony or lust or some other sin, it's going to own you and it's going to direct your life and ultimately it's going to destroy your life. That's one path, being controlled by sin, or you can surrender your life to God, your mind, your body, and your, your heart to Him, and, and you'll be led by Jesus to life and peace. Okay, two options. Sin's going to control you or Jesus is going to control you. So who is controlling your life today. Now, if you want it to be Jesus, then you got to be intentional about that. That begins by actively surrendering to Jesus today. I know when you began your Christian journey, you confessed Jesus as Lord. God, the Holy Spirit came into your life, forgave you of your sins and, and gave you that promise of eternal life. But if you really want to submit to Jesus, you need to do that every day. And, and you just need to say, okay, Jesus, you're in control of me. I'm following you. Lead me. Okay, but it doesn't end there. That's just the beginning point. And then you've got to pursue the relationship with Jesus. That means you've got to pray regularly, often. You know, Scripture says pray continually. It means you've got to read your Bible. I mean, you can't follow Jesus if you don't know what Jesus actually taught, what he said, what his values are. It means you've got to be active in worship because that's part of, of us following Jesus is worshiping him. So you got to actively pursue that relationship, and then you got to live in obedience. You know, we always talk about you got to read and apply God's Word. This is the apply part. Uh, a lot of people sing or s declare that they love God, but Jesus said, if you love me, you'll obey my commands. It's that simple. Love is expressed through obedience to Jesus. So once you know what Jesus wants you to do, then if you want to let him control your life, then... You've got to actually do what he says to do. And then it means that you're going to serve and bless people in Jesus' name. You're going to serve and bless in Jesus' name. Uh, that, that's the path that's going to grow your submission to Jesus until it's obvious in your life that Jesus is leading you. So I don't know about you, but I want to be controlled by Jesus. And the reason I want to be controlled by Jesus is because he is the only one who can give me life and peace. And that's what I want. I'm praying that's what you want as well. And I hope this has blessed you today. Have a great day.